Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to delve into the world of poetry and examine a work by American poet Frank O'Hara titled, Why I Am Not a Painter. Through this, we'll examine the limits of language and the interplay between words and images. Let's get started. So, who is Frank O'Hara? He is an American poet, lived from 1926 to 1966, and he wasn't, uh, it's, you know, during the same time as the Beats, but he wasn't necessarily considered a Beat poet. He was kind of tangentially um, related to them. He lived in New York City. A lot of his poems deal with issues involving sensuality, and they're kind of erotic. They can kind of look into everyday occurrences in life and really amplify these small interactions that people have in the world and examine those things. Uh, he was also out in the 1950s as a gay man and wrote about it as well and his experience with that so he's considered a pioneer of gay literature and gay poetry and these sort of things as well. And in this poet he is going to his friend's house, Mike Goldberg, and at his house he sees this painting, or at his studio, he sees this painting which is kind of unfolding. And now Mike Goldberg is an abstract expressionist painter who lived in New York at the same time. So O'Hara would go over to his place and he would see this painting which is kind of unfolding uh, with every visit, he's seeing the evolution of the painting itself. And he's reflecting on himself as a writer and the limitations of writing and how to use words and Mike's use of painting and the limitations of paint uh, to also communicate within artistic realms. So he goes to his studio multiple times and he notices at one point there's all these abstract gestural marks everywhere and he notices at one point that he has written, uh, Goldberg has written sardines on the bottom of the canvas. And as he continues to paint on it and the visits continue, he notices that sardines has been crossed out completely within the painting. And he's obscuring the words sardines within the painting. As a painter, he wants to write sardines, but instead he begins to scribble it out and use paint to communicate um, what he wants to say. Similarly, the title of the poem, Why I Am Not a Painter, involves O'Hara's own limitations of his words and how he can't, you know, necessarily just become a painter, even though he might want to be a painter, he has to deal with a different type of medium itself. So even the, the, the poem itself is an interrogation of the limits of writing and choosing the medium in which you work in. And now, let's get into the poem itself, and I'll read it for you, and um, you can listen to it and think about how it affects your own work, but more importantly, just listen to the words and uh, Frank O'Hara's Why I Am Not a Painter. Why I Am Not a Painter. I am not a painter. I am a poet. Why? I think I would rather be a painter, but I am not. Well, for instance, Mike Goldberg is starting a painting. I drop in. Sit down and have a drink, he says. I drink. We drink. I look up. You have sardines in it. Yes, it needed something there. Oh. I go and the days go by and I drop in again. The painting is going on. And I go, and the days go by. I drop in. The painting is finished. Where's sardines? All that's left is just letters. It was too much, Mike says. But me? One day, I am thinking of a color, orange. I write a line about orange. Pretty soon, it is a whole page of words, not lines. Then another page. There should be so much more. Not of orange, of words. 
of how terrible orange is in life. Days go by. It is even in prose. I am a real poet. My poem is finished, and I haven't mentioned orange yet. It's twelve poems. I call it Oranges. And one day in a gallery, I see Mike's painting called Sardines.